and welcome back to episode 21 of the Newcastle career mode. In today's episode, we are going to be talking to some business owner and I think the talks are going to be successful because they are going to be taking over Newcastle United. That's right, Newcastle United are going to become one of the new richest clubs in the Premier League with a financial takeover thanks to some uh, good negotiation skills from the team at Newcastle we should be able to get some money for some new players now before that I think hopefully you saw the team there I changed the formation to three cams instead of uh, the left forward right forward formation which is quite weird oh some dumb oh wow Milan Milan to dumb it that's quite interesting good luck to that I'm just gonna accept that straight up I'll probably accept the Milan deal that's that'd be a crazy deal if that comes off uh, we'll also accept the Leeds deal whoever wants him can get him to be honest, but good luck to dumb it. Now then, how long do we get the money in? Oh, it's there. 68 million pounds. Now there's a lot of players we can go for. And a player I really want to look at trying to get is a left left mid and a left back. Because I think right back at the moment is strong. Mankio and Yedlin are two great players. Our centre backs are fine. Our goalkeepers are good. We've got good cover at centre midfield. Uh, attacking wise, we've got some good players, but left back and left that left hand side is quite weak at the moment. So there are a number of players that we could go look at. Um, I haven't made a list yet, but I am going to go ahead and make a quick list of some left mid players and left back players. Ah, oh, Coleman wouldn't be a bad man on a left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and make a list of some players. I'll be back in a sec. Right then, I am back now that took a lot longer than i thought it would but we have got a selection of left backs we can look at uh put together a decent list here not bad not bad at all uh a lot of the players are quite funny enough not at their original clubs i think actually only three of them are and the one i'm interested in quite honestly is felipe louise i know he's 32 years old so he might decrease quite a lot but he's got Champions League experience. He's a quality player. And I think he would be able to take us to the next level in defence. Hopefully we'll be able to get him into the team. They are, you can just see I've given Jack Wilshire number 12, 20. And um, also I've given Barkley number 7 on the shirt numbers. Uh, I'm going to be giving uh, Benteke number 9. Right, now left backs. Let's see if we can do any swaps here. What would Real Atletico Madrid realistic want from my squad they wouldn't want a lot to be fair now i could offer dwight gale although they've got griezmann and stuff so why would they want him uh i could look at giving um maybe iosie perez oh, i'd like iosie perez fullbacks well, i'm getting rid of a fullback so maybe now we'll just do straight up money because we've got the money um i think a good transfer fee would be around 13 mil he's Get, he's not getting any younger and he's going to decrease to that sort of value soon anyway so let's see what he thinks of that ballpark figure 17 mil right let me count that and i'm actually going to add on a sell him clause because i'm not planning to sell on him sell him i had a five percent sell him clause and i'll and that'll be able to actually allow me to make a quite a joke of an offer to be fair 12 million with a five percent sell him clause they don't want to put a sell him clause they are a very smart team let me try 16 mil. Let's try 15 mil, actually. That's his value. That's just under his value. Hopefully, they'll be uh, realistic. They're going to take some time. So, that means what they're going to do, they're going to come back to me with their original offer. And I'm just going to have to take whatever they put on the table. So, all the negotiation is in their hands for Felipe Luis. Now, that's left back for now. Uh, right, left mids then. I've actually got only two left wings in the team. I've also looked at some players who can also play on the left. You can see all of these boys have the capabilities of playing on the left. Now, two players I'm extremely interested in is Di Maria and Signe. Uh, Di Maria has, again, Champions League qualification. I know uh, experience, sorry. He's a good player, 84 rated. He's quite old and it's quite... Um, He's not actually in the first team at uh, PSG. I don't think at the moment with Mbappe coming in. They've got uh, so they've got Cavani, Mbappe, Neymar. Uh, they've also got Lucas who's playing. 
Uh, so game time isn't going to be that regular for Di Maria. And now I think Di Maria coming into this Newcastle team, he would be able to basically re-spark his career and show the world what they missed out on. Or we could go for a proven player who has that extremely good quality. As well as Draxler, similar boat with Di Maria, not in favour, but is a quality player. And I think I, I'm honestly going between Draxler, Insigne or Di Maria here. And oh, I don't actually know which player I'd go for, honestly. I think Draxler would probably be the smartest decision. Although I'd, I'd want a bit more pace up there because at the moment we've got Ben Arthur, Ross Barkley and uh, Ben Teke. So maybe a more a pace here, guys. Draxler's not the fastest, so he wouldn't be up and down, up and down. Di Maria is getting on a bit, so I think honestly, Insigne might be might be the decision I'm going to have to go for here. I'm going to go in for a negotiation with Napoli and see what try and f figure we can get for him. See what money we can throw a throw around, throw around, and hopefully we can get a good deal for this man. Right then. So they're not going to be in in interested in any of my players. And remember, we need to keep an eye on the budget because of the. Uh, Negotiation with Felipe Luis. So 45 mil. That's going to be my opening offer. I think that's a fair one. And I might have to add on a sell-on clause here. Which wouldn't be too unrealistic for Napoli to agree on. See 64 mil. That is way out of my uh, capable hands. Because also you need to think about wages as well. So if we go back to, on to 40s. We'll go to a 47 mil. We'll do a sell-on clause of 6%. See what they say about that. 57 mil, no release clause. But that would limit my chances of getting a good left back in. But it would mean getting Insigne through the door. Now, I'm going to go once again for 50 mil. We'll go 50 mil. And I'm also... I can't put a settle clause. I think so maybe 52 mil because this is probably going to be my last chance to try and get him. Let's see. Alright, so we have agreed on a £52 million deal. This leaves me... I don't know how much it leaves me for a left back. But I'm going to go straight into the Insigne deal and try and get Insigne into this team. So I'm going to go straight into this Insigne deal. I'm not going to mess around. I think he'll be a great player to bring in. Great addition to the squad. He brings Champions League experience. And I mean... People just recognise Insigne's name and they're already worried. Defences would be petrified if they knew Insigne was coming to the Premier League. Obviously, he is going to be a crucial first team player. Now then, what's next? A contract left of two years, that's fine. I'm not planning, I'm probably planning to do maybe another this season and then another season if we don't get into the anywhere near good Champions League. So I'm planning to try and win the Champions League and win the Prem with this Newcastle team. Now, I don't want to put a release clause in, and I'm so, yeah, he's happy with that. Now, wages. See, this is where it's going to get scary, because I don't think we'll have enough money. So, if we offer 100k straight up, so he wants 110k with a signing bonus of uh, 980k. See, that's not going to leave me anywhere near enough for a transfer of a left back. I don't know. I might have to actually counter this, but then his wages will go up if I get rid of that goal bonus. Let me get to the... If I remove that bonus, what would they uh, want then? I reckon it would probably go up to 130 maybe. It's not quite... Oh, so he's into... Oh, that's amazing. Insigne is in eager to join this club. All right then, we've done it. We've actually just signed Insigne from Napoli. What a crazy signing. Now, budget-wise, that's not left me in the best of situations with Felipe Luiz because his wages will be quite high. So I might have to look at a cheaper option at left back. I mean, I have picked some other ones around Daily Blin maybe or Van Anholt, but these aren't like the massive upgrade that I'm looking for. But honestly, I think Blind might be a good guy, although he's just recently moved, so we won't be able to get him. That's a shame. Uh, who else could we get? Look at getting Ben Davis maybe. He's recently joined. Loads of these people have recently joined. Curse will be too expensive. Van Anholt maybe, but he's not really a uh, upgrade to an El Shirani. I think El Shirani for the season might have to do with assessing you on his back, unless we get the funds in to get that Felipe Luis deal through the door. 
So now what's this done to the team? It has affected the team quite drastically. I'm also going to move the team around. So I'm also going to get rid of... I don't know if I'd get rid of Armstrong or Mitrovic because I only want striker on the bench. I think Benteke is already the uh, sort of target man strength kind of guy. Armstrong would be a different alternative to that. So I think I might get rid of uh, Mitrovic and put him on the reserves. As a shame, he, he was a great player last season. But when, when the good quality comes in, you just have to make sacrifices. It's hard, but it's something that's just going to have to happen. And... I'm going to put him off for a loan, and if anyone's actually interested in bringing him in, they can go ahead and approach me for a loan of Mitrovic. But now, if once I get... What's going on? Yep, let me save changes to the team. I don't know what's happened there. Let me go back into the team. Right, so we are back into the team, and this is the team. So far, this is what the team is going to be like on the first day of the season, with Insigne, Barkley, Benteke, and Ben Arthur all up top. Hopefully creating me chances, getting me the goals with Wilshire and Shelby just in that pocket of space to basically control that midfield. And hopefully the defence might improve, although we haven't made any additions to it. And that was honestly our weakest part of our team. So maybe that might be a mistake in the, in the future. Maybe goal difference might be a factor in the league. But hopefully it isn't and hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt me. Now then... We are going to advance it. Hopefully we do get some offers for some players. Because, what's this one? Straight up, Philippe Louise. Here we go. 15 mil with an 8% sell-on clause. So, we should, we can afford 15 mil. I, I can afford 15 mil. However, there's no more money. Uh, I can't even afford 15 mil. There's no money for his wages. So, I'd have to look at trying to ship off some, uh, some expensive players. And, to be honest, all the players are that have any value in my team are players I want to keep. Um, yeah, there's no one here that I would actually be realistically wanting to get rid of. Maybe a Mitrovic and maybe a Perez. I sad to say, but those players might have to leave. Mitrovic and Perez. Or maybe at least... Oh, I don't want to lose Mitrovic or Perez, though. I think they're both great players and they bring something to this team as well. Perez does, Mitrovic does. So I'm not actually willing to sell them too. Uh, Alfie Morse is fine. Aaron's maybe alone might be risky. The best option for him. I don't want to sell him. Good player. Now that I've brought in some other players, Dwight Gale might have to be put up on the transfer list. Armstrong can stay. Lascelles might have to put up. Nah, I'm keeping him on the loan. Not for a loan. Assessing you on now. The left back situation is not 100% finalised. I'm going to take him off the shortlist for the uh, loans. Richie can stay, uh, Costa can stay, Hayden can stay. The good players. Now this guy, I want. No, I don't want him on the loan list. I want him on the transfer list. Make sure I keep. Oh, and we've got this guy who's up. Oh, I swear. We've also got some other players. Yeah, we've got Dummy up there. We've got some other players who are. We got up for the transfers, and no one's actually taken the bite yet. So hopefully they do eventually. Now what's this deal? We've got a deal for Hayden here. Ooh, seven mil is a lot. Well, I'm going to see if I can negotiate a better deal. And I'm not going to... Actually, I can delegate here. So I'm going to start the offer at 8 mil. So that's what we're going to start. Them. No, we're going to start at 8 mil. Don't sell the player for less than 8 mil. 8.5. And we'll start the offer at 9.5. If we can get anywhere near those sort of figures, I'm, I'd be happy to get rid of Hayden. Get rid of is a bit of a bad word, but we've got a Costa... Um, who else do we have? We have someone else that I can't remember off the top of my head. So yeah, we've got Acosta. We've also got... Actually, we don't have anyone, really, who could play CDM. So maybe losing Hayden might not be the smartest option unless we bring in someone, maybe a central midfielder, maybe bring a lone central midfielder. We'll see what the options are with Hayden if they were ready to see the price figure I've put up for them. We've got Dummett's uh, been sold. I said I've met with the agreement. They've agreed to pay 9.5 mil. Uh, Jacob Murphy's just sold. Now 9.5 mil for Hayden is a lot of money, if you think about it. And I could probably go and just get what rating is Hayden as well? I think he's around 74. I said I didn't want to sell him because I have got him in my training, as you can see. I didn't really want to lose him because I thought I could grow him to become a great player. 
Oh, but I think there might be better options out there for a central midfielder. Let's go to the Prem, see what there is lying around there. Oh, no, that means best left mids. Uh, CDM, no, that's a cam. I'll tell you what I've done. I'm going to go make a list again of uh, some CDMs that could replace Hayden. Uh, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, I am back, and I'm looking at Hayden's stats, and they aren't like the most amazing stats i mean he's been a good player for the club don't get me wrong but if we want to go for that champions league or the premier league we're not we're going to need to bring in quality so that is the decision i'm going to make to sell him um i'm going to go ahead and accept that he might the transfer talks may break down who knows but we have sold murphy Dummett as well players who aren't just at that level yet i mean if i was going to do this career for maybe 10 seasons maybe keeping hayden dumb it uh murphy would be a good decision but for now it's not it's not really worth my time and i'm actually going to go for Felipe louise now when i was looking for cdms i can completely completely forgot that i had Mikel marino just sitting there in my reserves and he would be an ideal replacement so he is probably the number one target at the moment. I've also made a like, short list of other players. You've got Harry Winks on there, Jake Livermore, uh, Michael Bradley, Gary Medell. Some good players. Um, but the thing is, the player I really want to bring in is Mikel Marino from last season. He was quality. May not get the experience, uh, the game time at Dortmund just yet. So I don't think he'll be willing to actually go. Uh, like start uh, I think he'll be willing to go sorry I think he will be ready to make that step up and get into the first team at a uh, good club now with the Felipe Luis deal what did they uh, say they wanted to do they wanted to um, 15 mil I think it was around 16 mil wasn't it or 15 mil I don't want to make I want to sell Hayden first and then look to bring in some players if we can't make the decision yet because I want to try and get Hayden sold. Bring in Felipe Luiz on that left back. Uh, and then we will look at a backup central midfielder. Broken the gown negotiates for Felipe Luiz. So I don't think we're going to be able to get Felipe Luiz through the door maybe. And we've also got a two month injury for Lascelles. Which is not ideal. And West Brom are interested in Brian Man Manquillo. And I'm not interested in losing him. Yeah look I can approach him now again. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to approach Felipe Luiz. And I'll see if I can approach a good deal. And I'll be back with a good deal hopefully in the bag that's fine i'm happy with doing that yes that is a fine i'm fine I'm happy with that deal so it looks like felipe Luis is joining the newcastle team for the upcoming season i'm glad to welcome him to the squad look at that he's happy to be here he knows he is and he's a great leader to have on that team let me approach a loan deal let me sort the wages out because that's how you sort the loans deal straight away so let me make let me sort the loans out to about that and see if we can bring gary medell in oh no, wait, what? Oh, please no, please no. I just exit the whole game. Shit. This might have ended really bad, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. Where am I at? Where am I at? All right, Insigne has been signed. What about Felipe Luizo? Oh, no, we're back at this stage. Jesus. So we haven't even sold Hayden yet. Oh, no. All right, guys, this is a really big mistake. I'm going skip to skip ahead to just get all the deals that I've just done, basically, finalized. And I'll see if I can get fully put those again. And we'll get back to the point I was just at. Sorry about this. So I'll be back in a sec. This is a really stupid mistake on my part. I'm sorry. Right then, guys, I am back. This is where we are with the situation. We have got Philippe Louis back in the team. Um, I realised how I could got I could have got him cheaper. It's because his birthday was actually on the August the uh, 9th. I searched up when his birthday was, and obviously when the because uh, he's now 33, his uh, price dropped quite quite a lot. So clearly that was an effect. Also, there has been no sale of uh, Hayden. Hayden's still at Newcastle. So that whole saga of uh, getting him sold, I'm just accepting this offer for sales here. I don't want him in the club, really. To be honest, and 6 mil is a great deal if we can get that through the door. 
because we haven't got actually much money at the moment because of the whole Felipe Luis deal, but Hayden didn't actually go through. So we still got Hayden in the team as our backup central midfielder. If any offers come in for Hayden, we will have a look at it. Now, we have got a loan off of Christian Atsu here, which I am going to turn down and reject because I really need to keep Atsu at the club. I think he'll be a great addition. Uh, not addition, he's already a player. I think he'll, he'll be a great player to keep at the squad, in the squad, because he's... Uh, as you showed last season, he's got some good goals in him. And the important ones as well. And Hayden has just gone up to 75 rated. But it does look like we have ended on a good uh, good deal for the team. We've got Harry... Oh, Harry Winks has just been talked to there. Uh, Vincent Thiel, he's happy. Uh, that's good to see. So this is the team that will take us into the uh, first game of the Premier League. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed... And goodbye. Yeah.